California becomes the second state in the country to take wastewater and turn it directly into drinking water. It's a similar practice that's been done for decades, but some people aren't stomaching the idea too well. Water is arguably the most vital resource we have, and California sure knows it. But I think generally speaking, like we are in drought conditions. On Tuesday, the state water board approving a new rule allowing water agencies to take wastewater, treat it, and then put it directly into the drinking water system. So the regulators are comfortable with the level of treatment and the safety levels of that water to be directly connected to our distribution systems. Before this direct wastewater transition rule, there are some communities in California, like the city of Oceanside, that have been using a process called indirect potable reuse for some of its water supply, as it turns out. We're able to take um, treated wastewater and then treat it further. We put it into an environmental buffer um, like the ground or a reservoir, and then we could retreat it for a final time and then distribute it to the public. Direct potable reuse wouldn't have that environmental buffer in its process. The chief of operations at the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California says the treated wastewater has a number of treatment steps like ultraviolet light and reverse osmosis. And then ultimately for direct potable reuse, uh, it'll go into a uh, drinking water treatment plant. So the, the same drinking water treatment plants have been operated for decades and the number of treatment processes there. Uh, it'll be treated through that process. However, when asked about the process, what if I told you that this was once wastewater? Would you still drink it? Uh, I might I might still drink it. I feel like water always kind of cycles through eventually, right? I'd prefer not to drink wastewater. <laughs> Some say this would give more ability and flexibility of how and where state agencies get their water. For instance, if an agency is solely dependent on the Colorado River and there's cutbacks from the river, if they had a potable reuse project, they wouldn't be as impacted. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.